What's up, Leaf Nation? Scott Willits here at the Hockey Hall of Fame for another edition of Rivals. Today, we look at a battle so ingrained in the fabric of this country, the very mention of the matchup gets the blood boiling. A rivalry so strong that a little boy once prayed that a hundred million moths would come and eat his sweater. The Battle of the 401, the ultimate Saturday night showcase, the granddaddy of them all, the six from the original six versus Le Bleu Blanc et Rouge, the Montreal Canadiens. So this rivalry goes back a ways, all the way back to the NHL's first season in 1917 when the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Arenas started the league. The long-standing tension between Canada's two largest cities exploded in 1947 when the Buds met the defending champions from the Belle Province in the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time. Man, did it ever get heated. Maurice Richard earned himself a suspension by knocking out Vic Lynn and Bill Nicky in Game 2 with a pair of high sticks to the head, but Peter Kennedy kept a cool head and potted the eventual winner as the Leafs took home the cup in six games. That passes it to Kennedy, who rifles it in the cage to win the Stanley Cup and the championship of the world. League president Clarence Campbell actually didn't want to hand the cup over due to the fear of fan violence. That's how crazy it was. The Canadians would get their chance for revenge in 1951 when the two teams met in the finals yet again. With all four games going to overtime, the Leafs took a 3-1 series lead back home where it was only fitting Game 5 went the distance as well. The only question was, who would be the hero? Luckily for the Buds, a stay-at-home defenseman named Bill Barilko stepped into play and buried one of the most iconic goals in franchise history. Coming off the heels of that victory, the Leafs spent the rest of the 50s in what you could call a bit of a slump, while the Habs became a powerhouse winning six cups, the last two of which came against, you guessed it, the Toronto Maple Leafs, evening the Stanley Cup Finals tally at two apiece. The rubber match would wait until 1967 when the underdog Leafs dubbed the Over the Hill Gang, led by the likes of George Armstrong and Red Kelly, lined up against the Habs team icing John Beliveau and Henry Richard. The Habs came out blazing to take Game 1 6-2, but the Leafs battled back with Bauer between the pipes and shut the favorites down to even the series. Game 3 went to double overtime, where Bob Holford ended the nail-biter with a goal and a celly every diehard Leaf fan remembers. After splitting the next two games, the Leafs took a 3-2 series lead back to Toronto, where you know what, I'm just gonna let Mr. Hewitt tell you what happened. That's a Holford. Holford gets left on George led the way that night and closed another chapter in the epic Leafs Habs rivalry. With almost 40 years since the last playoff meeting, safe to say that the Habs have had the better of us for a little too long. I can only imagine what the 93 final would have been like, but anyways. Generations of fans can remember hundreds of moments that make this matchup what it is today. And with the new crop of players on both teams, all skilled, I think it's fair to say there are many more glorious moments still to come.